It's great to have all of your citations stored and organized in Zotero, but ultimately you will want to cite them in a research paper or other document. To make this easier, Zotero It's great to have all of your citations stored and organized in Zotero, but ultimately you will want to cite them in a research paper or other document. To make this easier, Zotero has plugins available for Microsoft Word and OpenOffice. In this lesson, I will provide an overview of the Microsoft Word plugin. To access the Microsoft Word plugin from the Zotero homepage, go to Download Now, scroll down, to word processor plugins for Zotero and Firefox. And click on that. And the Microsoft Word program is available to install right here. There's also a Mac version and a plugin for OpenOffice. I'll focus on the Microsoft Word plugin. Once it's installed, you can access it from directly within Microsoft Word. After installing the Microsoft Word plugin for Zotero, you'll be able to access it under the Add-ins menu. All of these icons here are for the Zotero plugin. I'll start by showing you how to add an in-text citation. Say that this sentence was from an article. Use this button to insert a citation from your Zotero library. The first time you open it, it will ask you what style you want to use for this paper. Then you can search for your article here. Let's say it was from the National Geographic video. Once you have what you need selected, click Enter. And it adds the insert in-text citation in the format that you requested. If you need to edit that citation, perhaps to add a page number, you can use the edit citation icon that's right next to the insert citation icon. It just brings this box back up. Um, if you click the Z, you have more options in the classic view. For example, here you can add the page number Another feature you can take advantage of in Classic View is to assign multiple citations at once. Let's say several of our articles refer to climate change as the alternate name for global warming. Go ahead and click the Insert Citation button again. This time, go straight to Classic View. Click Multiple Sources. Select the ones that you want to cite and move them over to the right. You can also assign page numbers here, if applicable, and click OK. See how it put both of these citations in the parentheses. Once you're finished writing, you can insert a bibliography automatically using the Insert Bibliography button. It will contain all of the references that you cited in the text of your paper. You can also edit the bibliography with this button, adding references that you may not have mentioned specifically, or removing that references as needed. With the settings icon, you can change the style of your paper. If you need more help, please don't hesitate to ask a librarian at library.uttyler.edu.